one of the most common amphibian which is found all over North America. These little creatures are generally overlooked by people in spite of being populous. So let's just stay tuned with this video in order to learn some special traits about this organism. The scientific name Anaxyrus americanus A group of toads is commonly called as knot or nest but sometimes they lead solitary lifestyle Their young ones are called as tadpoles While the name Americanus simply refers to the region in the world where these toads are found, Anaxyrus is a Greek word that represents a king or a chief. Anaxyrus Americanus, another North American species of Anaxyrus, are thought to be descended from an invasion of toads from South America prior to the formation of the Isthmus of Panama land bridge. presumably by means of rafting it is divided into three subspecies the eastern american toad anaxyrus a americanus the dwarf american toad anaxyrus a charles smithy and the rare hudson bay toad This toad is found all across America from the east coast to the west coast and its habitat extends north into Canada and south into Mexico. They can be found in various habitats from forest to green lands to urban areas. The range in the size from 2 to 4 inches long and weigh less than 1 pound. American toads have short legs and stout bodies. However, one of the interesting facts of this specific creature is the warts that produce a milky liquid that is highly poisonous. Often red or yellow warts decorate the toad's thick skin, serving as one of their main adaptations to protect them from the predators that hunt them. Most of the time, American toads have brown skin. but there are some variations in their markings some toads may show light olive or gray patches along the stuff skin which can be as light as yellow hue or dark as black the coloring may change as humidity and temperature of their environment change though stress can also be a factor american toads have four toes that are located on each front leg and five toes along the hind legs though each set is connected with webbing the pupils of these toads are oval shaped and are black with a golden outline the males have dark colored throats and are usually black or brown but the females are many lighter featuring a white throat instead females also tend to be larger than their male counterparts Toads can inflate their bodies to appear larger and more threatening. If these defenses fail, the toad's final line of defense is its ability to shed its skin. This process, called autotomization, allows the toad to escape from predators while simultaneously confusing them with its discarded skin. The American toads do not wait for the prey to come to them. and can stick out their tongues to pounce on their prey and catch it these toads use their front legs when they have to eat larger chunks of food they grab hold of their food and push it into their mouths they are also able to tolerate changes in temperature and moisture levels making them well suited for living in today's changing world The parotid glands of American toads secrete bufotoxin, a poisonous substance meant to make the toad 
unpalatable to potential predators. Bufotoxin is a mild poison in comparison to that of the other poisonous toad and frogs, but it can irritate human eyes and mucous membranes and is dangerous to smaller animals when ingested. Toads have a voracious appetite. They will eat just about anything they can fit into their mouths. Insects, spiders, earthworms and even other small amphibians all make up the diet of the American toad. They will also eat berries and fruits if they are available. In captivity, American toads can be fed crickets, mealworms and waxworms. The major predator of these toads is the snake. Eastern hognose snakes particularly enjoy a diet that is rich in toads. Some snakes are even immune to the poisonous glands of these toads, making them even easier to indulge in. When the toads encounter predators, who are immune to the poisonous liquid they produce, they urinate on themselves to make a less attractive meal for the predator. Major threat to this species is human activity and involvement of invasive species. American toads have very noticeable calls. They make long thrilling sounds lasting between 4 to 20 seconds each. The males use these sounds to attract the female toads for breeding. While they are often seen hopping around on land, American toads spend most of their time in ponds and streams, where they hunt for insects and other small prey. They are nocturnal creatures and during the day they can be found hiding under rocks or logs. When they are threatened, they inflate their bodies and release a poisonous substance from their skin. This behavior discourages predators, but it can also be deadly to humans if the toad is mishandled. Although they may not be the most attractive creatures, American toads play an essential role in keeping insect population under control. They are an essential part of many ecosystems. During the mating season, their calls become louder, constant and more frantic. When these calls are made, the throats of the male toads puff out like balloons. However, this is not the only way that the American toads communicate. Some of them also use body postures, chemical cues and touch to communicate. About 4,000 to 8,000 eggs are laid in two rows. The eggs are known to foster at high temperatures. After that, the baby toads are born. Talking about lifespan, they can live more than 10 years if taken care of and usually do not survive more than a year or two in the wild. The population of these toads is not known. It is believed that they do not have special conservation status. Their population tends to fluctuate greatly, driven by how well the young survive. They fall in the least concerned category and continue to thrive in the most environments and most of their ranges. Fortunately, you may be able to catch a glimpse of this interesting toad species in everyday activities by understanding their behaviors and searching within their preferred habitats or regions.